hello good morning so last time we saw uh, unijunction transistor construction and its equivalent circuit so in the construction it is the unijunction so that's why there is only single junction it acts like a pn junction diode but this end region is elongated that is in the bar shape okay if you observe this is nothing but a pn junction only but this end region is in form of elongated or it is in the form of bar shape and two leads are connected b2 and b1 if you observe the symmetricity of this bar so this emitter is just above towards a base two terminal okay that the center so this emitter junction is formed just above the center towards the base two so this is the only uh, the point you have to understand so this emitter so p p region is named as emitter so this is a b2 base 2 and this is base 1 okay so this is just like a pn junction so that's why in equivalent circuit diagram we use the symbol of the diode so this rb2 is the resistance between the point where the emitter junction is formed up to point or terminal b2 so this rb2 so this rb1 is the resistance between the point where the emitter junction is formed and the base 1 so this is known as rb1 so it indicated as a variable register okay so this is a ve emitter okay so last time we saw this so voltage across rb1 is vrb1 which is given by the formula rb1 divided by rb plus rb2 into vvb okay so this is known as eta and if we saw eta is the vrb1 upon vbb the intrinsic stand of ratio okay so these equations are very important so another equation is ve equal to vd plus vrb1 so if you observe this loop so emitter voltage ve is the voltage across this diode plus voltage across this rb1 so if you consider this loop so that's why we can write VE equal to VD plus VRB1. So VRB1 is here. From this equation, we can write VRB1 equal to eta times VBB. So VRB1 equal to eta times VBB. So if you write here, then VD, when this diode becomes forward biased, when this diode becomes forward biased, the voltage drop across this diode is 0 0.7 volt. So that's why we have to write here 0. 7 volt okay so this is the just basic idea or the construction and the equivalent circuit of this uzt okay now we are going to see the characteristic curve of uzt okay by using the same diagram okay so by using this same diagram we are going to find out the characteristic curve of uzt so in this characteristic curve we are going to see the relation between the voltage of emitter and the current of the emitter so on the y-axis we write here ve okay and on x-axis we write here ie so this is the emitter voltage and this is the emitter current ie okay so if we apply some fixed voltage VBB, something high voltage, and if we vary the emitter voltage, then we are going to observe the relation between VE and IE. Okay, so we know that the voltage at this point, if we, we consider, we, we are going to consider this diode, so voltage at the cathode of this diode, so this is nothing but a cathode, okay. So this is VRB1, which is a something voltage okay positive voltage because if you apply some voltage vbb we can calculate vrb1 equal to rb1 divided by rb1 plus rb2 into vbb by using this formula there is something positive high voltage okay so there is something positive voltage that is applied to the cathode and if v equal to zero volt okay if v equal to zero volt and there is something high voltage okay so this diode is in reverse bias in this case because anode is at lower potential and cathode is at something higher potential positive okay so this cathode is at something higher potential 
and this anode is at 0 volt when V equal to 0 volt then what will be the condition ok so we are going to plot this condition on the user t when V equal to 0 volt ok so this V equal to 0 volt now so at V equal to 0 volt what will be the current IE ok if we consider this diagram again ok so here something high positive potential so that is positive VRB1 something high voltage ok and that is at 0 so this diode cathode is greater than the anode voltage so this diode is in reverse bias and if we observe current flowing in a reverse direction which is known as reverse leakage current ok it is reverse leakage current we know that if diode is in reverse bias there is very very small negligible current flowing in a reverse direction that is called as reverse leakage current so this current flows in a reverse direction so that's why we show this current on the negative axis ok so this is the negative of y and this reverse leakage current is because of minority charge carriers we all know, know about that so this is because of minority charge carriers so therefore it is constant current it is very very small negligible current and constant ok now we are going to increase the VU, VU voltage on this side ok we are going to increase this V voltage and what happens as 0 increases from 0 to 1 volt still this 1 volt is less than plus VRB1 so this current is continuous in a reverse direction so this current is reverse ok and constant if you observe here this current is reverse and constant at some voltage this voltage becomes equal to VRB1 ok so the point where this emitter voltage becomes equal to VRB1 the potential difference between this point and this point that is the voltage across this diode is nearly zero so this and because of this zero if the both the terminals are at the same potential that means there is a no current so this reverse leakage current becomes zero at this point ok so this is a very small reverse leakage current flowing through the reverse bias diode at a particular voltage when VE becomes equal to this VRB1 ok then the current drops to 0 so this current IE so now it is on negative side it becomes 0 so this at this point ok at this point VE becomes equal to plus VR V1 at this point V equal to becomes plus VR V1 ok so as this both are becomes equal this current becomes 0 now again if we increase the voltage beyond this V equal to VR V1 as we increase the voltage the current now this potential goes on increasing this is greater than this when anode voltage becomes greater than the cathode voltage for this diode that means it diode got forward biasing ok as this voltage becomes greater than this one the diode becomes forward bias slowly slowly ok not exactly or immediately so the diode becomes slowly forward biasing and that's why now the current flows in this direction ok so this now current flows and start to flow because this is at a higher potential this is at a lower potential so better to current flow in this direction current flows downward direction because this is at a lower potential so this diode gets forward by slowly slowly and current increase now the current direction changes up to this the current is in reverse direction now current flows in a forward direction because diode gets forward by so at the peak potential so at this point slowly current increases ok 
at this point current becomes at the maximum peak so when this ve voltage becomes greater than vr beyond then 0.7 volt if you observe this equation okay sorry ve so this ve becomes greater than 0.7 volt plus eta into vv okay if v because equal to 0.7 volt plus eta times vbb means this ve voltage becomes greater than this voltage by 0.7 volt then what happens then this diode gets fully forward biased and maximum current flows in this direction okay when this diode becomes forward biased when this voltage becomes greater than this voltage then 0.7 volt then this diode gets forward biased and current flows through it okay maximum current flows through the diode and as this current increases the resistance is drops okay as the resistance drops means this voltage okay this is a semiconductor this is not actual resistor this is semiconductor as current increases okay then this increased v voltage drops like this okay so as this voltage increases this diode gets forward biased and current maximum current flows in this direction that means this resistance value drops we know that as the resistance value drops the voltage across the resistance also drops okay so again if we increase this voltage again if we increase this voltage again current goes on increasing so this is the characteristic of uzt this is very important characteristic okay so this is known as negative resistance region because we know that in a volt in a resistor okay if we increase the voltage then current increases so this is a resistance characteristic but here if we observe the current increases and voltage drops okay so that's why this is known as negative resistance characteristic okay so we named as this negative resistance region okay so this is up to this this is a negative resistance because if you consider the positive resistance if you increase the voltage current increases okay but here as current increases here voltage drops so this is the known as is a positive resistance and this is negative resistance okay because voltage decreases as increase in the current so named this as negative this is the most important characteristics name as a negative resistance characteristic so this is a point we named this at valley point okay so it is just like a valley so it is named as valley point this region is known as saturation okay and this is a leakage current so leakage current okay so at this point both the voltages becomes equal and current becomes zero so this current becomes zero as we increase so this voltage is known as peak voltage okay so this v e p so we know that v e p equal to this one 0.7 volt plus it times v so this so here both becomes equal so at this point both the voltages become equal okay so at this point both the voltages become equal and at this point this voltage becomes greater than the 0.7 volt so we can write here it is 0.7 volt plus vr b1 okay so vp is the peak voltage p for peak 
सो वी ई पी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन होल्ड प्लस वी आर बी वन ओके सो एयर आई एम गोइंग टू राइट अगेन इयर वी ई पी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन होल्ड प्लस वी आर बी वन दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन होल्ड प्लस ईटा टाइम्स वॉट सो इयर ईटा टाइम्स वी बी बी ओके सो दिस इज नथिंग बट वी ई पी मैक्सिमम इमीटर वोल्टेज सो वी गेट हियर इज मैक्सिम इमीटर वोल्टेज वी ई पी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन होल्ड प्लस वी आर वी वन ओके दिस इज द वैली पॉइंट निगेटिव रेजिस्टेंस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ओके नेम यूज ए डी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज नेम्ड एज निगेटिव रेजिस्टेंस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक सो दिस इज सेचुरेशन रीजन सो ये रेबिलिटीज सो दिस इज अप टू अबाउट दी ऑल अबाउट दी यूज ए टी ओके सो कंस्ट्रक्शन then this equivalent circuit diagram and this characteristic curves okay so we are going to stop here now